hello yeah we are right back in this video i'm going to show you how to use the string functions in the report again i will st start from the very beginning so that everybody understands so select new i'm going to use again the north wind database that comes with the access i've already made a connection just the connection is already there and i'm going to select the employee table select next and then i'm going to select the field uh maybe this time i'm going to select title title of the course first name last name birth date higher date and city and okay i'll take the country okay just because this is a string function i'm selecting the few fields i'm going to show you how to format uh, this thing i want i'm going to move this field up because this is the title that says mr mrs and then there's a title then i'm going to use a first name and then there's one more field last name also has to be moved here okay and then we are here and word it country okay we are done with the selecting of the fields we move to the next we are not going to group by anything right now here and again move, i move to the next nothing doing here no filtering right now need it this is a string okay no template needed we will go without template this time again okay as you can see that the title of code say mr mr doctor whatever the person has said has been put on the first field okay the second name the second field says the first name and the third field says the last name and the and so on the title the birth date and hired it now if you see there is a problem showing the birth date with the timing which we don't want okay same thing with the hired date now what we do is first go to the design okay and first change the format of the field okay let's say take it take i prefer the format that is always more correct to read so i go and check it to the this thing this format and again i'm going to select the, the same thing for this format also this add it also i believe the okay okay now we are done here with the formatting of the date field now it looks good readable and there's no time in it okay so far so good okay let's move to the next one now suppose i wa i wanted the this thing to be coming together as you see the field name title of the co code say miss uh, first name last name they are all three different field and they are all apart suppose if i wanted them to be grouped together all the three field how do i do it let's go and to the design let's open up the field explorer right click the formula field and select new and let's let's say right now full name a new field i am creating and i am going to add these things to the new field and then i am going to put the new field on the report and it will show you the full name as one okay so okay there we are now let's say the first field i wanted was title so i select title okay now how do i do add it the other field i will say plus this time i'm going to only use a space because i'm not going to use anything else next i'm going to take the select the first name i have to use a first plus again again i'm select the first name again the same thing again i'm going to now i'm going to select the last name and now this is a where you check it up whether our our the data is right of the this thing it shows no error this is where you check it up out every any time you put a try to put something into the formula you check it here once you have checked it it's okay you can save and close okay so i save and close okay now it has not appeared on the report because the thing is that once you create a formula field you have to put it yourself drag it yourself let's say i wanted to put the full name and there we go i'm not going to drag remove any of the field right now because just i'm going to show it how to do it okay 
there we go and we have the full name and just in one field okay okay let's 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 make it a little bit more decent readable and okay and let's push this thing full name a little bit below okay now let's see okay now i have the full name it's showing misses this thing and if you see in the first line you see it's completely actually apart okay now if i wanted to put the first name like this as a full name what i have to do is to delete the title first name and last name from here and i'm just to put it this thing name rather than i am going to change the text to the title to the name okay and i am also going to delete the below three fields 1 2 3 okay now as you can see if i see the preview now you can see the name is there everything is so far so good okay now what i have to do is to again i have to drag these fields again to the a little bit to the left so that it looks rightly aligned there we are and then we are there we are okay and let a bit the full name has to go up uh our title may create a problem let's say we select the title let's say we let's drag a little thing to the right and then we have to create push the title also towards the right okay so far so good and let's say we take a preview now this looks good okay similar way you can write to use other functions also by using i'm going to show it to you how to deal with dates and also the other function okay now i am going to take it a little bit further let's push this thing a little bit down still and i'm going to show it to you how to do put other string function how to use other thing okay select the formula and select the new let's say i wanted to say upper name okay suppose if i want the first name to be upper i have not deleted that first name and if i wanted the first name to be upper in upper name upper case sorry and there we move okay now let i am going to select the string function that says upper if most if any of you have worked with the any software you know most of these functions are usually the same okay upper case and then we move to the first name employee's first name and we say check it out no error save okay and close okay again the field explorer we if we want and i move the first name similar i can use the lower case okay let's take a preview okay here is nancy in the first line andrew janet they are all in the caps capital case upper case sorry or capital capital letters okay now suppose i wanted to do some arithmetic with the date okay now suppose the person has has a birth date okay stating here and i wanted to find how how many days he was old today or how many years he was old today okay so just i want to create one more field for the bird this thing okay i'm going to create new i'm going to say number of days okay and how do i calculate the number of days i first go and find out where the date functions here and once i have located a date function i am going to select the here this is date function date function okay current date okay i said current date and then i say minus okay employee birth date 
Okay, let us check it out. No error found. It says save and close. Okay, let's bring this field down. Number of days here, and let's move it to the this place. What is going to give me this field? Okay, let's format it. Is going point showing two. Okay, first let's format this thing. Format the field. and let's say this one okay display it correctly now what it's showing is that the today is the higher date and the birth date there is a difference of 15682 days but it doesn't do me any good i cannot i'm not, not i'm not going to count by the days i want it by the year okay so how do i get it by the year okay so what i do i have to divide this number of days by 3 165 to get an approximate number of years okay not correct because there is a leap year if i have to do it correctly i have to do it correctly every i have to count every leap year and to get one one day extra but right now i'm going to use the round of 365 days okay so let's go and do it put one more field and let's say in the formula i select a new something number of years okay and then i have selected a number of years now i have to take the number of days and i have to say divide by 365 that's it i think so it should work check no error save save and close and there we are okay now the number of years i have got it i'm going to bring it down and i'm going to stick it here Okay. Okay. Now we are going to take a preview. Okay, that says forty-two point ninety-six in the first, and so on and so forth. Okay, that's the approximate age of the person. Okay, from the birth date. If you wanted to do the same calculation, you could do it by the higher date and the birth date also. Oh, higher date and current date also. Sorry. And once you are done by the higher date and current date, you know how many exact number of days or the years that person has been an employee has been working for an organization, and that's it. I think so. I made it clear how to actually use a string and a date function. You can experiment with lot of them whenever you feel like. That's it. I will stop here and continue with the next video in the next video.